All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Yashim, Yahweh Shai by Yashim, Rakahakwadash, double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well, and peace and salutation unto the hopeful elect. This is the brother Bakwasha. And I just want to go into a quick lesson, um, just covering correction. And reason being is because uh, this society in itself doesn't promote correction. It promotes uh, chaos and disorder. And uh, correction in itself is really uh, a covering. You know, it gives us uh, perspective, uh, especially perspective from, you know, elders, uh, brothers that have more experience. Uh, we look at Yahweh Shai and really um, his experience, his walk is how we are being refined and being corrected. And, uh, you know, that correction is, is uh, vital in um, preventing us from being uh, destroyed. You know, um, correction is is necessary um, because if you're not corrected, um, then then uh, what typically happens after correction without correction is uh destruction okay um and so i just wanted to go into a couple of scriptures that came to mind uh as i was just uh meditating on uh correction and why you know the scriptures the holy scriptures of yahweh by shimei Shai are helping to purify us uh to refine us and to actually prepare us uh lord will you know for this hour of temptation you know for jacob's trouble um, to where we are able to continually trust in Yahweh by Shimei Shai and have faith um, and not to lean on our own understanding. So uh, let's start here in the book of Hebrews, the 13th chapter and the 14th verse. It says, for here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Verse 15, by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai continually, that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Okay, and that's what we're out there doing on the highways and byways. We're obeying Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, giving sacrifices, okay, making our body a, a living sacrifice, you know, um, literally uh, having that spiritual uh, altar, you know, to offer up those. Uh, those sacrifices that are pleasing unto Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, which is glorifying his name. Verse 16, but to do good and to communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifices is Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, so like it, for with such sacrifices, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is well pleased. Okay, so just remembering, hey, talk to the Lord, pray. Uh, uh, meditate fast, do those things that are, are pleasing unto you. How by Shimei Shai, you know, say the names as, as much as possible, you know, um, throughout your day in, in your meditation, you know, when things come up and you know, it's, it's wickedness and it's evil, you know, uh, meditate on those names, call on those names. All right. Verse 17. And this is the point. It says, obey them that have rule. So like it, obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourself yourselves for they watch for your souls as they that must give an that must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief for that is unprofitable for you it says obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch for your souls as they that must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief grief for that is unprofitable for you. So point being here is this is a uh, this this truth is about order. Scripture says, let all things be done decently and in order. OK, so there's there's a rank and file. OK. And so I want to get into this word here, obey, uh, because I had never really looked it up. OK. And that word here is. Strong's G 3982. Pytho. Pytho. It says to persuade, to induce one by words to believe. 
to make friends of, to win favor, to win one's favor, gain one's goodwill, or to seek to win one, strive to please one, to persuade, to tranquilize. It says to suffer oneself to be persuaded. Okay. And so when it says obey them that have the rule over you, okay, what you're really doing is you're submitting yourself unto that correction, okay? Because we have elders, we have uh, 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 elder apostles, uh, uh, bishops, all of these, these men have been set up for our protection, just like Yahweh Shai has been set up for our protection. We are obeying Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, right? We're obeying Yahweh Shai, okay? So likewise, the men that have the rule over us here on earth, okay? Um, it says to be induced to believe, to have faith, you know? And that's some of the things that this world doesn't teach as far as obedience in order, okay? And why correction is so important because that correction is coming from Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Okay. It says to be persuaded of a thing concerning a person because that message that's coming to, uh, uh, for an example, myself, right? Uh, I need to receive it um, as something that I need to be persuaded in. But likewise, I need to humble myself, submit myself to that because it's it's actually for my benefit okay let's go back to the verse it says obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch for your souls and they that must give account that they may do it with joy meaning hey listen uh, you know, this, this, this brother is, is doing well, you know, he's growing, he's reading, he's fasting, he's listening, you know, he's not out of order. It says that they may do it with joy and not with grief. It's like, oh man, I got to talk to this brother. It's like, this brother don't ever, you know, blah, 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 etc. And I'm just using these as an, uh, as an example, it says, and not with grief for that is unprofitable for you. So the point of um, men that rule over us, okay, is for our profit. That correction is for our profit. Obedience is for our profit to where we don't destroy ourselves. Okay, submission is for our profit to where we don't destroy ourselves. Okay, so let's get back into the uh, definition. It says uh, to listen to obey, yield to, comply with, okay? And, and you know, over my years in, in this truth and in the experience I've gained through Yahweh by Shem Shai, one of the best things in any type of correction scenario to, to be sincere about is just saying con, okay? Because what are you really doing? You're agreeing. And I think that that's one of the definitions Maybe not uh, here, but basically to obey um, is is to agree or to comply with. OK, you saying con is like, OK, I, there are some things I just don't know about. And so anyway, I just wanted to go into this quick lesson. Here's a couple of uh, other scriptures as well. This is Job 5 and 17. Behold, happy is the man whom Yahweh by Shem Shai corrected. So once again. Why, why are we happy? Why are we with joy? We with joy because Yahweh by Shemiah Shah is preventing us from doing something that may um, be destructive unto us. Okay. Therefore, despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. Right. Proverbs 3 and 11. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth. So that love, okay, is, is really showing that Yahweh Shemiah is, is dealing with you as, you know, a son and, 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 and not a bastard, okay? Because if you're being corrected, that means the Lord loves you. You know, just like if you were to see a brother walking out in the middle of the street, you know, although that wouldn't be the scenario, 
You know, love is, hey, brother, watch out. <laughs> you know, whereas no love would be like, he shouldn't have went out there. Okay. And that's just a very, you know, generic uh, example. It says, even as a father, the son in whom he delighted. Right. Exactly. So it's not about uh, lording over brothers. It's about loving brothers through correction. If you see something that um, needs to be said, say it. You know, we're, we're dealing as men. We're not dealing as women. Okay. Worried about, oh man, you know, if, if the brother going to receive it or not. Nope. You know, if, and, and here's a, another generic example, but Lord will, it, it, it fits. Um, you know, even in the world, if you have a booger in your nose, right? More than likely you want somebody to tell you that you got a booger in your nose. You don't want to be walking around all day you know, with a cliffhanger, all right? Right? So, and and there's various levels of correction. That's a very low level of correction. Somebody say, hey, bro, hey, hey, you know, you got something in your nose, right? Likewise, you you magnify that same scenario. Hey, brother, uh, that's not how we roll, you know? Or, hey, I, that, that's not exactly what that means. Or, or hey, brother, you know, that, that's got, you know, lard in it. You know, all of these are scenarios of correction, which is really showing love. All right. It says Proverbs 3 and 12, for whom the Lord loveth, he corrected, even as a father, the son in whom he delighted. All right. Proverbs 27 and 5, open rebuke is better than secret love. Why? Because if you really love your brother, then go ahead and correct him. Go ahead. And if necessary, he doesn't receive that correction. Intensify it. Okay. Hey, all right, don't do that. You know, because it's the same scenario. We're watching after each other's souls. Okay. This is Leviticus 19 and 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. How are you hating your brother in your heart? Because you're not rebuking him. You're not correcting him. Now, that doesn't mean you just go around and, and strain, um, strain at a net, you know, as far as you just looking for something to rebuke about a brother. Right. But, um, you know, ask the brother, Hey brother, did you know this? It's like, Oh, well, I, hey, so like it, brother. I ain't even know. Oh, okay, cool. That's correction too. But then if you see the same things continually occurring, Hey, I right, look, we already talked about that. Now you're about to get rebuked sharply. Okay. It says thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Con, you know, we look at, you know, the, um, you know, the, the Pesach, right. Um, you know, getting the, the, all the leaven out of our house and all of these things, man. I mean, all of that is not suffering sin upon our, our neighbor, because what are we doing? We helping brothers out. Hey, I, you know, this is that. Oh, well, hey, brother, you know, you might not have known, but this is, you know, uh, has leaven in it, et cetera, et cetera. Right. And I and that's not uh, a rebuke. OK, but what it is, is it's not suffering sin upon him. OK, and that, and that's just a very minor. I mean, it's a it's a big scenario, but I mean, obviously we're in this flesh and we are rehearsing the righteous acts. But if there are scenarios where you can help a brother grow and mature in an area that you've noticed that he's stumbling in, that's where rebuke comes into play. And the variations of rebuke are dependent upon how obedient that brother is to that rebuke. OK, um, this is Proverbs nine and eight reprove not a scorner least he hate thee rebuke a wise man and he will love thee so it goes back and forth you're showing love by rebuking he's actually receiving love because you rebuked him and and so point being here is not to rebuke is really hate which is kind of, you know, wild in itself, but it shows that 
if Yahweh Shai did not come, we may not have life to live. You know? And then when I say life, I'm talking about through these holy scriptures, okay? Being quickened, okay? Coming out of this world of darkness. But how did we live? Through the chastening of Yahweh Shai. Correction. Hey man, we got we got a dietary laws we keep. Oh what dietary laws? Oh okay, damn. You know, hey man, you know, this ain't no sundown uh, uh, a Sunday uh, uh, Sabbath. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know this 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 is about the moons. You know about the new moons. Like oh okay, damn. You know, all of that's correction, all of that's rebuke. Okay, we have high holy days. We don't we don't practice. You know, these uh, uh, pagan holidays and all these uh, wicked holidays of, of, of the people, you know, we're like, damn. Oh, OK, come, come, brother, the water. OK. That's love. OK. This is Proverbs 15 and 10. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way and he that hated reproof shall die. Why is that? Because essentially they're not accepting or obeying or agreeing, okay, with the rebuke. And from there, what happens? Pride. That's why scripture says pride goeth before destruction. Why? Because, I mean, we're giving our people warning. They don't want to hear it. Yahweh by Shimei Shai is giving us warning. Two thirds ain't going to hear it. Okay. So what happens ultimately, if you don't get the warning or the correction, and you don't change your ways. Diabetes, getting your leg cut off, right? Cancer, eating the wrong foods, idolatry, okay? Worshiping these pagan customs and traditions of these uh, 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 heathens, right? And there's countless examples, okay? But that's how you die. And you can also die in the physical sense, okay? Um... And then we'll wrap up on this one. This is Hebrews 12 and 11. It says, uh, let me see here. Let's we'll start up a little bit. Yep, come on, come on, come on. Uh, a father's discipline, come on. Uh, let's start at 12 and 6. Hebrews 12 and 6. For whom the Lord, Lord loveth, he chasten it. Boom. Okay. And that's all the way down. All right. That's from Yahweh Shimei Abishai through the brother that is chastening you or correcting you. Okay. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasten it and scourge it every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, Yahweh Shimei Abishai did it with you as sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Why? Because we need to be corrected. Okay. We, we, we in this, these chains of darkness, you know, got this flesh, you know, a warring against the spirit. Right. So, so yeah, as, as a father chastens his son, that's what we're in. Okay. We're being chastened. We're being refined. We're being corrected. But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then ye are, then are ye bastards and not sons. Okay. So, so yeah, you want to be treated as a son because a son's going to get the love and the mercy and, 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 you know, grace. Whereas the bastard, hey, not going to get any of it. Okay. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live. Once again, there's that word subjection. Okay. Just like it was in Hebrews, the 13th chapter. Okay. Obey them that have rule, obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourself. Okay. Subjection, right. To bow down, to make for sure that you're not getting high minded. All right. It says, Hebrews 12 and nine. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather, shall we not much rather be in subjection 
unto the father of spirits and live because through that correction, we live. Okay. Verse 10, for they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit. Once again, going right back to Hebrews, the 13th chapter, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Okay. Cause, cause that's what this, <laughs> that's what happens. You know, we become separate, you know, we become purified, uh, to where now, you know, we're, we're walking in the spirit. Okay. To where we're, we're not catering to the flesh. All right. Verse, uh, 11, it says, now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Okay. That's why the brother's going to love you. That's why anytime brothers get rebuked or chastened, you're like, man, the water, the water, I, you know, hey, the water's a quan, you know. Call all like how by shimmy I was shy. Cause we know what kind of situation we in. We, no brother wants to go off in in uh uh intentionally, you know. So so if you do something and it's you know it's genuine, uh it's a it's it's a it's an error, it's a mistake, you know, then then yeah, then you know it's gonna be a chastening, okay. But it's going to be something just like an exercise. It's just a period of time. Okay. But during that period of time, you're becoming better. The brothers are becoming better. Now we're more unified, you know, and I'm speaking of the hopefully elect, you know, because everybody else, man, going to catch a fade. So uh, Lord will, you know, this lesson was edifying for the elect. Until next time, Shalom.